Welcome back to the Now Morning Show, where for over or almost four decades, King David Michael Rudder has been a part of the Trinidad and Tobago cultural landscape, telling stories, painting beautiful images, and giving us music that I can safely say I've grown up with. This time around, we celebrate him as he gives us a final grand concert performance. And now to tell us what we can expect in that concert. We are joined by Mr. Derwin Howell of the promotion team for 7.0 this morning on the Now Morning Show. It is it is bittersweet to have you here, Mr. Howell, to be quite true. Because I have so many fun memories, spectacular children show as I got older, older shows. And now I'm here saying the last one is coming. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thank you for being a part of the team that is going to make history ultimately. But yes, really indeed. and truly, what can we expect? Well, you can expect true David Rudder. You know, David has always been, you know, one to please his fans and always been one to surprise his fans, mm -hmm. you know. True. So I think on, on Saturday, you're going to see something that you can, in a sense, you can expect it, but then you, you, you know what's coming, you know. <laughs> 40 years, nearly 40 years of music is not a trivial collection. And, you know, it's also hard to pick the songs to put on the show. Right. But we did our best, you know, and it's going to be fantastic. I can't say anything less. Um, you know, you're going to leave that, that show going, wow. Right. Now you're stepping into that venue saying, wow, because as you rightfully say, almost 40 years of music to right. create a show around that. The dynamics are endless. So in terms of the standardized way that we would usually get performance, whether it be a cappella with band, any dynamics therein that you can share with us? Well, it'll be a bit of everything. Oh. You know, <laughs> David is, 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 I mean, even when you rehearse with him, you know, when he gets on the stage, he could decide, well, you know what, I'm going to do this. And, and the band knows him so well that they look out for it. And I mean, he will just signal all of a sudden where he went in rehearsal, you're going through the shoot. But you know, it's going to be professional. Of course. It is going to be him giving his all to his fans. You know, he he is one that, that really appreciates and, and feeds off of the, the, the love of the fans. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you said the last hurrah. It is it's going to be his last marathon show, but right. David will continue to perform. You know, we did make an announcement okay. um, maybe a week or so ago about David Parkinson's, um, you know, diagnosis. And all that will mean he has to slow down a little bit, but you're going to get, you know, David Rudder until, as he said in the briefing, until he can't do it again, because it is in his nature to perform. Gotcha. And thankfully it is, because we certainly need to make sure that we continue to give our icons the space to shine and the opportunity to share those stories, that music, and that beautiful catalog of music. Now, going back a little bit, because I don't think that anyone wants to sit and plan a final, as you say, long show. You want to continue to perform for as long as you possibly can. Right. And so when the idea or the decision was taken, rather, to have one final hurrah, as I like to call it, what was the conversation like mm -hmm. between the team and Mr. Rudder himself? Well, those of you who know David, he's a, he's a, he's a man of few words. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of like, you know, doing David here. I want to do 7.0. You on? <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> and after you get that, what are you going to say? I mean. You know? Well, yes. <laughs> you know? So it was a very, a very short conversation. But, but, but seriously, at the end of it, you know, I think when he was here for maybe Christmas or, 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 or Carnival, he had, he had mentioned to me, look, you know, we're looking at do, doing this show. Um, and myself and Dennis Ramdina are really the co-chairs of it. Right. And he, he approached both of us and obviously, you know, um, we've both worked with him before. And, and it, it was a, a simple, yes, you know, just when, how, when we start in and, and that's it, you know, you move forward from that basis. Right. 70, 7.0 represents his 70th birthday. Right. You know, he will be 70 on, on May the 6th. And, you know, he's going to put on a fantastic show. Mm. Now, I... Can't get over the fact that I've been able to witness so much of someone's uh, catalogue throughout my uh, life and different life phases therein. And so we will be seeing the addition of other persons who have enjoyed such benefits. Other performers are going to be on the cast as well. Anyway, you want to share? You're trying to fish, fish, fish. I'm fish real fishing, there. boy. You know, as I told people, we, we have guests at. He's G-U-E-S-S. -S. Ah, boy. You, know, you guess who come in. But, 
you know, there are going to be some special guests. Um, we're not giving out anything here. Come and see the show. You know, we actually have 67 tickets left online. 67. 67, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, so, you know, it's, it's going to be a sold out show. Absolutely. We will do it on, on, on that basis too. We, we will be doing it as pay per view. Right. You know, uh, so go to, the, go to our social media, David's social media, to see, you know, where, where you can um, grab that if you have, have been fortunate enough to get a ticket. Um, but, you know, he's going to have his music presented in, in different ways, you know. Um, he has done collabs with people. He has he's done a lot of his own music. And he will continue to evolve that and doing it in different ways, right. you know. As you say, sometimes a cappella, sometimes, you know, slow down, maybe jazz it up. David will continue to, to, to take his own music to different heights, mm -hmm. you know. As only he can. Indeed. Now, we do have to talk about the price, and you don't want to tell me who's coming? Let's find out. Those 67 tickets, they are online? They are online at $500. And in terms of any sorts of box offices or any other options at this it's, moment? It's online at this point. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, guys, you need to head on over to David. Island, Island e-ticket. And Island e-ticket to make those purchases. I know they take both debit and credit cards, so we can make it happen. Somebody's birthday, somebody's Mother's Day, whatever it is. Early Mother's Day present, We I can get so. that done. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about iconic performances and even looking down memory lane, capturing these sorts of things are very important. Yes, there will be pay-per-view, but like the Beyonce's and the Weekend and the US altogether, we have a tendency to package things for post-production consumption. Will there be that option with this as well? Indeed. So so while we do the pay-per-view, we mm -hmm. will be capturing it and, and producing a, a video package, which we hope will then rebroadcast re at some point. Beautiful. Yeah. So as much as you definitely want to go ahead and get those tickets online and head down to Soundforge on Saturday the 6th of May to experience David Rudder 7.0 in concert, you do also have to look forward to another perspective of this iconic performer giving us a grand birthday present, if you will, as we look forward to his, birth his 70th birthday, his 70th birthday yes. coming up as well. Now, in terms of one of the messages or one of the concepts that we will get from this performance. What do you think that the audience will take away most? You know, one of the headlines you use in the promotion, and this came directly from David, is celebrate the livingness of life. You know? Um, and, and, you know, you can't expect anything less from David, that kind of lyrics, you know? <laughs> um, it's celebrating the livingness of life. And this, this came out of one of his songs, Lovely Day. You know, it's, it's, you know, sometimes we talk about what's going on, but we need to continue to celebrate. Life goes on. I mm -hmm. mean, in a sense, part of this came out of the whole COVID thing. You know, everybody was kind of down and, and, and so on. But you realize that we're still here. Mm -hmm. and, and there's something to celebrate. Yes, we understand. I mean, people lost loved ones and so on. But there's a lot to continue to look forward to. And David's message in this particular show is let's celebrate the livingness of life. Simple as that. That's exactly what we're going to do as we head on to Soundforge. So thank you very much for joining us this morning, Mr. Howell, for continuing to put on these iconic shows. And best of luck as we continue to celebrate our icons while they're here. Your All In All Morning Show continues with even more entertainment. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back after these messages.